guys, welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be talking about a new sunscreen and this is going to be on the new CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen Sheer Tint SPF 30. Now I'm really excited to be sharing this product with you all because I love to introduce new SPFs to you guys. You all know that I really love to incorporate an SPF in my morning skincare routine. It's really important and everybody should be doing that. So when I see a new sunscreen that hits the market, especially a mineral sunscreen, I'm always so excited to try that out and to see how it's going to work on my skin and of course most importantly how it's going to work underneath my makeup. So I'm going to be sharing this product with you all today. I am going to apply it to my skin today hence why I don't have any makeup on in this video. So you are going to see what the tint looks like on my face and of course I will give you a little review on the product as well. Now stay tuned. I will be doing an updated video coming soon on my top face sunscreens. Now I did do one last year and if you haven't seen that video I will link it below for you as well as up here but I am going to do an updated sunscreen video on my top face sunscreens so stay tuned for that video I should have that up in the next week or two so that way I can give you some more ideas on some other sunscreens that you can pick up for your face so before we get started if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell that way you're never gonna miss any of my future videos on skincare and all things beauty and I upload videos every single week so let's get right into the video so this is 100% mineral based sunscreen. This has a lightweight feel to it that is a non-greasy formulation. So when you apply this to your skin, you're not going to be left with super greasy, oily skin and you're also not going to be left with matte looking skin either. So this really does give your skin a natural skin like finish, but when you apply your makeup on top, the sunscreen will shine through just a little bit giving you a natural glow finish to your skin which is absolutely beautiful. So I love the way that this it's underneath my makeup it really does give my makeup a nice natural glow finish to it and you just look glowing all day long so this here has three different types of ceramides and this also has niacinamide in here as well and a lot of CeraVe products do have ceramides and niacinamides in their product this one here in particular does have ceramides and niacinamide and I love to have those two ingredients in my skincare products now if you are somebody that is acne prone and you have oily skin and large pores. Niacinamide is really good for you. So this SPF will actually be really good for you because it does have the niacinamide in here, but you're also getting the benefits of the ceramides as well. So there is titanium dioxide of 5.5% and a zinc oxide of 10% in here. This also has hyaluronic acid in this product. It is fragrance free, paraben free, and it also is chemical filter free as well. You are getting 50 mils of product, which is 1.7 fluid ounces, and I believe I picked this product up for around $15.99. So it's not too bad, it's still affordable considering this is a 100% mineral based sunscreen and it's tinted. And when it comes to tinted sunscreens, a lot of tinted sunscreens don't work on my skin because I am pretty fair skin to begin with and if I am not self tanning, a lot of these tinted sunscreens are too dark for my skin or they're too orangey and then of course it does not blend to my neck. Now I really do love the Drunk Elephant tinted sunscreen and I have done a video Video on this where I show you what it looks like when I am not self tanning and you can see that I have a white neck and a really tanned face. So a lot of different tinted sunscreens don't really necessarily work on my skin tone unless I am self tanning or I'm bringing my foundation down my neck to help blend everything together. Now I believe that this is going to work for a lot of skin tones especially if you are a little bit darker skin than I am and if you are somebody that self tans on a weekly basis then this is going to be completely completely fine and everything's going to blend in. Right, so I'm going to apply this to my face but I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand here just so that you can get a good visual of the shade of the product. Now I would say that this is more suited for light to medium skin tones so if you are somebody that wears a medium foundation or a light to medium foundation this is going to match you right off the bat but if you are somebody that is more fair or someone that is darker skin this may not be suited for you. So this is what it looks like on the back of my hand here and as you can see it is a light to medium shade but in person it does pull a little bit darker than what you're seeing on camera here and it goes on really nice it's very moisturizing and right now you can see that it is blending in but when it starts to dry down a little bit it is a little bit too dark for my skin tone right now 
but I love how this does not have a fragrance to it. That is a big bonus. I hate the smell of sunscreen, so I really love how this has no scent to it. Now I have to get a little bit more here for the rest of my face. And I'm just going to dab it all over. Now I like to be generous when it comes to SPF. You want to make sure that you are putting a decent amount on your skin. You don't want to be chintzy and not apply enough because you want to protect the skin as much as you can. But this does spread really nicely and I just love the finish that this gives. So I am going underneath my eyes just a little bit here, just to make sure everything is blended in place. And I think I'm going to need a little bit more for my nose here. So what I'm noticing when I'm applying this to my face and I'm looking at myself on the viewfinder here, it actually doesn't look too bad from what you guys are seeing. It doesn't look like it's that much of a difference. It looks like it's blending in pretty good. Now in person, I can definitely tell that my face is about a shade, a shade and a half darker than my neck naturally. And that's just me being nitpicky. I can tell the difference between my neck and my face, but from what you guys are seeing, it looks like it's matching pretty good. So just know that this is pigmented but it's not too pigmented if if you know what I mean so you really should be bringing your SPFs down your neck as well but when it comes to a tinted sunscreen I don't necessarily like to bring it down my neck because I do find that tinted sunscreens transfer onto clothing and this one in particular does transfer onto clothing if you are not careful so this is what my skin looks like now now that it has dried down just a little bit and because it has dried down just a tad you can see that there is a little bit of a difference from my face to my neck. Now of course it's not a drastic difference, it's not a big thing really to worry about but you can see that there is a little bit of a shade difference there. Now if you are a little bit darker skin than I am naturally then this is going to be probably a perfect match for you and of course if you're self tanning all the time as well then you don't have to worry this is going to blend really nicely. But I really like how this is giving me just a medium tint coverage on my skin. I have used SPFs that were tinted that did not give me a tint whatsoever on my face and then of course I've used tinted SPFs like the Drunk Elephant that give me a lot of color payoff that I have to definitely be self tanning to wear those SPFs. So this is kind of like a happy medium in between a super light tinted SPF to a dark tinted SPF and I really love this option and I'd have to say this is probably one of my favorite tinted SPFs that I've ever used used because it's really hydrating and moisturizing. It just gives a slight tint to your skin to even out your skin tone and I love the finish that this gives to your skin as well. I don't know if you can tell but I do have a really nice natural skin like glow finish to my face which I really love in skincare products especially in SPF and this is going to look really nice if you just leave it the way it is like this. Go out and about if you want to have a no makeup day and this is going to be an excellent product to apply to your skin to even out your skin tone but it's also going to give you a natural glow finish as well to your skin. I really don't have anything bad to say about this SPF other than there is one con and the only con that I have to say is that this is not water resistant. So if you are going to be near water all day or you're going to be swimming or you're going to be sweating a lot because maybe you're doing a lot of activities outside then this is not the SPF to choose because this is not water resistant. So make sure that you are choosing SPFs that are water resistant so that you can use when you are doing activities like that outside or you're near water. But if you're just somebody going to work or you just want a no makeup makeup day and you just want to have a nice easy relaxing day, this is a great option to choose just for those days. I'm going to be wearing this a ton come the spring summer months and this is a fabulous product. I would highly recommend this 100% you guys. So that is everything in today's video. Like I said, I will have an updated video coming soon in the next week or two talking about all of my go-to top face sunscreens that I love to use on a daily basis. So stay tuned for that video that is coming very soon. And of course, if you have any further questions, leave your comments below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys then. Bye guys.